Good morning! I should have started the vlog later after I showered, but whatever, it's fine. So I was editing last night and I made a decision that I was deleting all of the footage. Just, I wanted to delete it, so it is gone. Um, I was editing the vlog and I did vlog like sporadically. Um, for those of you who don't know, we were sick for like a week straight. We had the flu, it was awful. I vlogged a little bit here and there. None of it really made sense. It was a lot of me talking, a lot of me coughing, a lot of the kids laying around being miserable, a lot of crying. Like it just was not footage I wanted to share. And I got halfway through editing last night and I was like, no. We're not sharing any of this, no. <laughs> so I deleted everything. And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling better. We're starting tomorrow, which is now, and we're going to start fresh when we are not grumpy and feeling like death. So anyway, good morning. I am feeling a lot better. I still have like a little cough going on. All the kids are well, they're all back in school. Things are kind of back to normal and I just now, today's probably the first day I feel as close to normal as I have in like a week and a half. Um, I still have a little bit of a cough but other than, other than that, we're golden. So anyway, welcome to today's vlog and yeah, I'm just going to start off today. Um, Piper has karate today, I'm cleaning the house today. The dog thinks he's being super sneaky and he's on the couch, even though he's not supposed to be, but I kind of let him get on the couch when my husband's at work because it just doesn't bother me because these couches are so old and they're kind of gross anyway. <laughs> so I'm just like, it's fine. Now when we get new couches, it's gonna be tough though to teach him not to get on the new couches. So we'll see how that works out anyway. I'm just cleaning. I have to call the YMCA. I've got to pay Piper's karate bill for the month because I haven't done that yet. But anyway, welcome to our day. I can do so much for you. I can do, I can do so much for you. I can do so much for you. So much for you, but you're already booed up. I can do so much for you. I can do, I can do so much for you. So much for you, so much for you. All right, guys, so all of the kids are home from school. Karate. Piper has karate today. She I starts be, back. I will be coming for her. Zoe's time. coming to karate with us. Forever. 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 What? Mancha. Mancha? I don't know what that means. Can I come? Oh, no, not today. And we've got A Day who is trying to take a nap already. Are you sleepy? You? Yeah? Are you sleepy? He had a good day at school, though. He's had a really awesome week at school. Okay, hey, no. No getting upset if people, if the other kids in your class are ahead of you and have gone up a belt, okay? You can't get upset about that because you haven't been there. Just keep, just you, be proud of yourself that you moved on. Exactly. You be, you be happy for them, you be proud of them, and you work hard so you can move on too, okay? And then I'll be in the next class Sorry. after orange. Um, yeah, but the thing is, all of the kids in her class it's since it's been so long, they've already moved on to a different time. So they now go at 7.30. No, 7 it's not 7.30, it's still at the same time. Um, so, back in November, December, Asa was working crazy overtime hours, and that just did not stop. It just was relentless. Like he was not getting home until like 8 p.m. and it became impossible for me to get Piper to karate. Like we could get family to help every now and then but then even family was not able to help every time and then I couldn't get them because I can't take all of the kids and it was just 
too hard. It was just too hard to get her there. So she hasn't been to karate. It's been about three months that she has not done karate. So she's starting back today and I'm excited for her. But hopefully things are back together. And I'm trying to keep this little baby awake a little bit longer so that he'll sleep while daddy is watching him. Um, just because daddy's got work he's got to get done still. And it would just be easier if little Jack is sleeping. All right. So all of the kids wanted to go outside. Be, ni be nice, Jack. All the kids wanted to go outside, except for Aiden, who wants to jump on his trampoline. So I'm just going to let Aiden jump. <laughs> I tried to get him to the door and he walked right back over there. So he's happy. Anyway. Mama, yeah. Can I have a tea? Can you have tea? Yes. Um, when we come back in, sure. Alright. And I was just making myself some coffee because I have not had coffee today at all. It's just been one of those days. I've made myself, I think, two cups, and I just let them get cold. I didn't actually drink them. So we're trying this again, because karate usually requires coffee, I'm just saying. Jack came up to me, like, chomping something, and I was like, what on earth are you eating? And I was trying to pry it out of his mouth, and it's just the raisins that I gave him. <laughs> I thought it was a bug. I don't know. It's nice out today, huh, Keys? Oh. You get to cook tomorrow? Yes. Oh, I'm excited for you. What are you going to cook? What are you going to cook at school? Do you know? Look at me. Where's your head? Look at Mama. What are you going to cook? I don't know. You don't know? All right, well, you'll have to tell me when you get home tomorrow what you're cooking. Cause I want to know. Are you gonna bring me some? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. That would be nice. I'll come in. Yeah, you go in. Yeah, you're going to school. Feelings. He got you all in your feelings. But do you know if you're happy? Because <laughs> that's the cult that I'm dealing. <laughs> He's just a jellyfish. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> oh, I love it. You always tell me to look you up. So why you stay is just happy on that trampoline. I've been thinking about you, pulling you close to my arms, wrapping these hands around you. Who is she gonna love? The body. Okay guys, so I'm in my bedroom. I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is not something that I do very often because this whole entire thing lasts me like six to eight months um, of doing laundry, like usually. Um, <clears throat> although that's a guess because the last time I did it, I only filled it up to about right here and it lasted about three months. So I'm just guessing, but <clears throat> anyway, so this is 
a laundry booster that I like to do um, and I keep this on my washing machine um, so I use the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt and then just your normal Arm & Hammer baking soda um, and then I use these oils which I will show you in a minute um, so I've already wiped this out and like rinsed it and, it and all that kind of stuff so I have this container so I'm just going to do equal parts Epsom salt and um, baking soda and then I'm going to add in my oils. This one, all, well maybe not all the way up, I'm probably going to fill it to about right here. But to start, I do just a little bit in the bottom and then I take my scoop and I just like to mix it up. And then I will add some oils into just this bottom part. So the oils that I'm using this time, and I swap up the oils that I use, but I'm going to use lavender. And there's no like specific like drop amount. You just do it till it smells like what you want it to smell like. Um, <clears throat> so I just kind of go until I feel like I'm happy with it. I'm also going to be using lemon. Lemon is a great um, wash booster as well. So I'll add in some lemon. And then this one is probably one of my favorite ones. This is my favorite oil to put on my wool dryer balls. So I think I'm going to use this one this time. So I'm at the point now where I just like to get my hands in there. Because when you put the oils in, they're going to ball up in the, um, in the mixture. So you want to really like break that up really good. And that is it. And it smells exactly the way I want it to smell. It's super cute. It has its little lid that goes on it. Um, and what I do with my wash, uh, every time I wash clothes, I'll fill it about, eh, about that full. And I will chunk that in my washing machine. And it's a good um, wash booster. Um, now I do have these little handles on the side that you can hang <laughs> the little scoop on, but I don't like to do that because as you can see, it gets kind of gunky and it's just easier for me if I leave it in there. So that is how I do my in-wash um, laundry booster. And again, these are the oils that I used. I just used lavender, lemon, and Envision, but you can use whatever oil combo that you prefer. And I mix it up. Like every time I mix this up, I'll do like, a different oil combination. The only consistent one that I use in it is lemon because I just think it does so great um, with laundry. You guys look, Zoe's room is pretty clean. It's a miracle. <laughs> Do you want to close out the vlog? Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and don't forget to live to inspire. I need to come up with a motto. What? Our motto is live to inspire. I know, like my motto. What's your motto? I don't know. I need to help. I need help coming up with one. <laughs> okay, we'll close out the vlog. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.